Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be all about my t-shirt collection. I will be showing you guys how I make some of my uh, t-shirts. If you guys do not know, I do have a fashion boutique that I launched a couple of months ago and it's, it's been doing really good for me um, right now I need to restock my inventory so I decided to go ahead and do today's video to kind of show you guys how I make a few of my t-shirts so before we get started into me showing you guys how I make my t-shirts um, I'm gonna show you just a few t-shirts that I actually have uh, on my site. I'm hoping you guys are able to see this. Um, these are just a few of my uh, t-shirt collections that I do have. Uh, one of the first ones is my flawless one and it looks like this. Uh, right now I only have it in the white tee. Uh, I am thinking about branching out and doing a few more colors but as for right now it is just in the white color I think I might bring back I did have it in like the black tea color with the logo flawless um, I might bring that back I'm not for sure but yeah so this is like one of my shirts that I actually need to restock uh, the next one is my too pretty collection right now I have it it looks like this okay and I have it as like a black tee with white logo and then I have it with the burgundy color that looks like this with the white uh, logo okay so that's my two pretty collection um, if you guys do not know I design all of my t-shirt designs and I do all of my uh, printing my t-shirt I mean printing my logos on my t-shirts but yeah so those are the two collections this is like one of my favorite ones which is the I am bougie collection right now I only have it on the white tee and then I have like the gold uh, brackets with the black lettering so this is how this one looks I love this tee you guys um, I love how it came out and this is like one of my top sellers that is on my site so that's that one uh, I will be showing you guys how I because I need to read definitely restock these so well restock yeah restock these so you guys will see, see me uh, do the t-shirt for this one okay my next one is my queen collection uh, right now I have them my queen collection is another one of my top sellers I have them in different colors the design is in different colors uh, but I mainly have them on like a white tee or a black tee so what I have right now is my the white tee with the red lettering uh, during the fall and winter I had these but they were uh, I used the burgundy lettering but for summer I'm using the red lettering so it looks like this and it says queen okay and then I have the black tee with the yellow hopefully you guys can see it because it comes down a little bit far but yeah this is how it looks so this is the uh, black tee with the yellow yellow lettering or I guess you could say it's not like pure yellow it's like a mustard yellow and then my last ones that I actually have on hand <laughs> um, I do have a few other t-shirt collections but um, I'm completely out of stock so today is like one of my days that I need to go in and restock my inventory so another one of this, now this is like the one that I'm always running out of which is my I ain't for everybody t-shirt and it looks like this this is the black tee and um, with the red white and black lettering so this is how the black tee looks and then I have it also on the white tee that looks like this so um, 
a lot of my clients, if they're interested, they sometimes get the black one or they sometimes get the white one. But I only have it in the white or the black tee. So pretty much what I showed you guys is what I have on hand. Like I said before, I do have um, my high maintenance always tee, which I'm completely out of stock of. Um, but I'll probably like insert like a picture or something so you guys can kind of see how that one looks. But yeah, so we're just gonna go ahead and get started and you guys will see what I use to uh, create my t-shirts. I'm sorry you guys, I completely forgot to tell you that when it comes to having a t-shirt collection, you always need to make sure that you have uh, your t-shirts always in stock or at least blank t-shirts always in stock I should say that um, I always try to make sure that my inventory is stocked with blank tees and the colors that I do have on my site so I'm gonna just show you guys I actually did have one of my shipments come in yesterday uh, for my uh, tees I always make sure that I have on hand white tees and black tees because those are the two main colors that I do have and then I kind of like switch it up with different colors uh, I do have uh, let me show you guys yeah so these are my white tees I always have them in like different sizes I always have on hand uh, small through extra large and then if I need bigger sizes I can just reach out to my vendor and then have them ship me uh, the bigger sizes 1x to 4xl because I do have available uh, sizes small to 4xl but I always have on hand small to extra larges because those are the main ones that tend to uh, go out of stock really fast but yeah so these are my white tees that actually came in I have another shipment that's supposed to come in in the next few days but this is the first one that came in so as you can see I have like all different sizes between small and extra large and then of course these are my black tees um, I just picked up a few red because I will be launching some red tees uh, this will be something new that will be a uh, part of my t-shirt collection and of course I got like some pink some pink ones and then I have like a few different colors uh, these are just I wouldn't say like samples but these are just uh, I only bought like maybe one or two uh, in each color because I wanted to kind of like try it out and see uh, what type of t-shirt designs that I actually want to put on these different color tees. So I got like purple, I have like a light gray or a heather gray, uh, of course my maroon, I have a lilac, I have a mauve color, uh, this color. <laughs> I cannot remember what color this is but yeah I picked this one up too and then I will be offering some crop tops uh, this is like a like a tan cream color crop top that looks like this and so I will be launching these soon um, as well you guys so um, I wanted to show you like one of the or one of the areas that I do have some of my supplies that helps me make my t-shirts um, I created like a slight wall where I have like all the different supplies like lint roller my rulers uh, my weeder and everything uh, as you guys can see I do have a Cricut this is the Cricut Explorer Air 2 and then in the back these are all my vinyl I tend to use like an easy weave vinyl and then sometimes I use the Cricut Cricut <laughs> I'm sorry, Cricut, I think it's like a Cricut Bond. I can't remember what the name is, but some of the colors I do have is the Cricut uh, vinyl, okay? But like I said, like my favorite type of vinyl is the Easy Weed. So this is pretty much where I have like everything set up and then I'll just, anytime I do need to make t-shirts, I'll just go ahead and bring it over to my table and start, you know, making my shirts. And then down here, because I haven't found an area where I need to put this, but this is like my Easy Press, um, 
that I use to uh, heat press all my designs. Um, as you guys can see, I already have a couple of designs that are cut out and weeded already. So the only thing it needs to do, I need to do is go ahead and put them on the t-shirts. Okay. And that's, this is just like my printer that I use to kind of like print out stuff for my orders. But yeah, but I did want to kind of show you guys exactly where I usually leave all my stuff. And then in these drawers are just different, um, vinyls pieces you know different like odds and ends stuff but so one of the first things that i do when it comes to making my t-shirts is i make sure that i pull out like the different color vinyls that i'm going to use to make the t-shirts so since i'm making the i am bougie uh t-shirt i'm restocking that the two colors are the mustard yellow and black so as you guys can see i have the cricut design our um, program already open and I've already created like you know size it up and everything like long time ago but I always have the project saved so anytime that I do need to re uh, print out the uh, design I could just easily go to the project open it up and then go ahead and send it to my Cricut machine and then it will go ahead and cut out the design and then I can go ahead and make the t-shirt so like I said I already have um, the design already created um, as you guys can see this is exactly how it will look so the next thing that I do is um, all you have to do is just go ahead and click make it okay anytime when it comes to uh, cutting out your designs you want to make sure that you always mirror the designs so I'm gonna do the yellow the two yeah uh, yellow brackets first so I mean you don't necessarily have to mirror the brackets like different shapes like this but I do it anyway just to be on the safe side so I'm gonna go ahead and print or cut this out so uh, I'm gonna go ahead and turn the camera so you guys can kind of see the machine. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and turn it on. And pretty much it's just warming up. Um, another thing that I do is I'm gonna take my Cricut mat And this is the Cricut mat that I have. Uh, all these supplies, well, my Cricut machine and my Easy Press, I got it off of Amazon. But you guys can go on to Cricut's website and get it. But yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and stop talking and we're just gonna go ahead and uh, get right into how I cut out this uh, design. <laughs> Oh babe, oh babe, oh babe Oh babe, oh babe Oh babe, oh babe, oh babe Oh babe, oh babe Girl, tell me how you kept that from All the time that I've been right here with you You haven't said a word, no I've been trying so long, babe, babe. I've been trying so long, babe. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah. To get that brown up off your face, girl, yeah. Cause I don't like to see my girl like that, no. Oh, tell me, tell me, was it something I've done? Done, yeah. Cause I don't want, I don't want tonight to be a hard one. Oh, and I just want you to come over here right now oh, Put your arms around me, around me right now oh, We ain't gonna worry about nobody else right now Cause let's have some fun tonight oh, yeah. So 
pretty much like after I weed out the design, what I do is go ahead and prep the t-shirt to go ahead and press the design onto the t-shirt. So I always use my lint brush just to remove any type of lint or particles that it may have dropped on the t-shirt. And then the next thing that I do is I go ahead and kind of um, size up the shirt to make sure that everything is straight and I always use my Cricut ruler just to make sure that when I do lay down the design the design is in the middle of the shirt and everything is kind of in the right place so I first start off with the brackets um, I go by I always go by what Cricut or what um, whatever company that I get the vinyl from I always go based off of what their heat directions or heat press directions are you want to make sure that you always do that um, before I even heat press the design onto the shirt I always um, kind of take the moisture out of the shirt by using the easy press and then laying it onto the t-shirt for about five uh, seconds and then removing it and then the next thing is just to go ahead and press the design onto the shirt which you guys will see me do hey right, you guys that is basically my process of me um making uh, my t-shirts um i will be showing you guys how i do my queen t-shirt as well in this video so make sure you um stay for that as well if you guys are interested in any of my uh t-shirt collections you can always go to my website which i will put on the screen as well as down below in the description section um with my fashion boutique um i do sell more than just t-shirts i do have um other items that is on my site but yeah you guys can definitely check out my site and then right now i'm actually having a 10 percent off uh um of your order uh discount uh which i will put it up in the in the video um i'll give you guys the discount code and then i will also leave it down below in the description section but yeah you guys just continue to watch the video i just want to say thank you so much so much for watching if you have any questions or comments leave them down below if you haven't subscribed to my channel definitely subscribe because i, I do have a lot more um videos coming but yeah you guys i'm gonna go ahead and get out of here and i will see you in the next one yeah. oh, if you didn't love me i still love you and if you didn't want me girl i still want you whenever the sky is gray you make it blue There's something about the way you do what you do oh. Now girl it's something, I don't know what you do oh. But girl it's something and I don't